how we were going live. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hello, Just Bug, and hello, Gracie. Good to see you guys. If you guys want to start putting your team names in the chat, you can do that. All right, we're up to four viewers and one like already. That's awesome. Wow. Team, I can't decide between that name. Scientific names. <laughs> If you want us to at least try to pronounce it, try to put like an underscore where each like space would be between words. <laughs> Hello. Oh, let me make sure that this computer is on airplane mode. All right, if you want to start putting team names in the chat, I know nothing. Welcome back. Well, I like it. Abby's our artist over here. Uh, Rhinopithecus roxolina and Tacbeptus rufcolis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, seven o'clock, so we're going to get started in just a couple minutes here. So if you haven't sent in your team name yet, you can go ahead and do that now. Oh, that's neat. Do you know what the points omatic in points in the summer game do? I don't remember what the points omatic does. I believe it has something to do with reviewing books and movies, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, what you can do if you go to the AADL homepage, up in the top left corner, you'll see a button that says contact and um, do text or email. And you can send in your message there. I think there's actually a category that says summer game. Um, and they'll give you a better explanation. Yeah, if you guys uh, haven't started yet, we should uh, check. You should check out the summer game at the library's website. It's really awesome. Do we have a code? No, we didn't get a code for today. I emailed the summer game team to see if we could uh, get codes for our trivia games in the future. Um, but I think they're still working on program codes. So stay I've, tuned on that. <laughs> this is my first year doing the summer because I joined the AADL team in the fall. So I've never done summer teams. So if you have questions, <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> uh, what do we do if answers don't come through again? Oh, did you, uh, you talk, referring to last time? Um, so I usually, um, are you heard, okay, so we have a question in the chat that says, what do we do if answers don't come through again? Um, so I, I think, I, are you referring to trivia last time? We'll usually do a call on the final question if we're missing answers, and then you can try to send it in just a second time. Yep. Um, I kind of forgot to come up with a team name, so this will be it. Will be it. <laughs> All right. So, so yes, yeah, so if, if your final answer doesn't come through, we'll do a call if we're missing teams, and then you can go ahead and send it in again. Yep. So. And that we will wait be fine. As long as yeah, we wait as long as, as we can. Um, so. All right. So I think that's good. We've got three team names in there. All right. So, Abby, you want to do the rules? Abby's decorated our rules board. All righty. Looks like Disney. I didn't put anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All righty. Rule number one is no Googling. Uh, this is just for fun. So. Don't Google the answers. Number two, keep track of your own score. It's a point per question. Your points if you get it wrong. There's no negative subtraction. And number three, write your team name with your answer. That's optional if you want to be in our chat. We'd just love to give you a shout out um, if you know the correct answer. And number four, or if you uh, make something up. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun too. <laughs> Number four, save all challenges for before the final question. So if you think that we got something wrong, then we will look it up on the Disney Wiki. And number five is have fun. Oh, uh, 
So thank you, Jess. I just realized what, uh, what you meant in the invite it's in the description. The, there is a summer game code in the description of our oh, video. Yeah. That was not there earlier when I looked, I don't think. So that, that I looked at quite some, like a, like a week or two ago. So. All right. So. All right. Or I just missed it. I don't know how I could miss that. It's P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Ways, Disney. All Sydney. right. Sydney. No. Oh, no. It's the, Sydney. It's the, yeah, the, Sydney. It's, it's the, from the Finding Nemo. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. There was one last week, too. Oh, that's how did we miss these? <laughs> yeah. I need to start checking the video descriptions awesome. again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our trivia now. The games begin. <laughs> oh, can you pull up the uh, website for the music? Yep. Thank you. All right. Number one. What is the name of Bambi's skunk friend? What is the name of Bambi's skunk Skunk friend. Time starts now. Do 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 do. Oh, your balance down. <laughs> Did not mean to turn it off that loud. <laughs> All right, that's time. All righty. And it looks like two people got it correct in the chat. It is flower. Just because he finds him in a field of flowers. All right. Question number two. In Toy Story 2, it is revealed that the toys Woody, Jesse, Bullseye, and Stinky Pete the Prospector are based on what TV show? Time starts now. All right, that is time. I like Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> uh, cow poke Woody, cow people. Those are all good guesses there. Uh, it is Woody's Roundup. It's a 1950s TV show. It's not a real TV show. <laughs> but it's called Woody's Roundup. It's in the second one. Yep. Oh, it says right there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, number three. Fun and Fancy Free features Mickey, Donald, and Goofy as characters in what fairy tale? Time starts now. Oh, we're up to two likes. Thanks, guys. And it's time. And the answer for this one is Jack and the Beanstalk. Looks like everybody who answered in chat got that one, right? Good job, guys. I thought that might be a hard one because that's an older one. Yeah. I like the Mickey, Donald, and Goofy uh, movies, though. Yeah. I like too. Three Musketeers. Oh, yeah. That's a funny one. I, should, I should, didn't even think about that one. It wasn't listed on the Disney animation, I think, because it was direct for, like, TV. Gotcha. Um. So I have to include that next time. <laughs> All right. So watch it. No. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> All right. Uh, number four. What source is discovered by Solly and Mike to be ten times more powerful than Screams? Time starts now.
All right, then it's time. And it looks like everyone got that right. It is laughter or laughing. That word laughs. Laughs. <laughs> yeah, laughs, laughing, laughter. All of the above. Yes. <laughs> All right, this is another older one here. Right, number five. What is Ichabod's occupation in the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad? Time starts now. I did not like this one when I was a kid, but I like it now. I don't know if I ever saw this one. I saw the other movie that I think about this one. You'll have to tell me after this question because I think we're probably thinking of the same movie. Because yeah. <laughs> I think Disney released them separately later on. <laughs> At least I think it's just, it's not the same Ichabod, it's at least based off of him. So the correct answer to this one is a school teacher and school master. So teacher works. Yeah, teacher works. That's the, um, and the one I was thinking of was Legend of Sleepy. Yeah, Hall. that's what it is. They were oh, it is? together in one because they're each 45 minutes later and later on. So it's like each one, it's like the wind in the willows and Legend of Sleepy Hollow and then the movie itself was released under the title of The Adventures oh. of Mr. Toad and Ichabod, gotcha. or Ichabod and Mr. Toad. So, yeah. Which is why I actually couldn't find uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, like the movie, for a while when I was searching for it, probably. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, no, I didn't like it. <laughs> then in that case, yeah, I didn't like this either. <laughs> I like it now, though. Me too. Okay, it's a good Halloween We're movie. We're all both literature geeks, so <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oop. What is Chef Gusteau's motto? Time starts now. You should play the one that sounds like people running again. <laughs> Evil in <engine>. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time. Pause it for a second. All, All food, food is good. Yeah. That's a good one. A little bit of that is the best. Mm -hmm. And it looks like I kind of forgot to come up with the team name. So this will be it. it. Is correct. It is anyone can cook. Good job. Good job. All right. Question seven. Maybe. What is Wendy, John, and Michael's last name? Time starts now. I almost read it. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? So and so. I see two people answer Darlene, and that is correct. I have a friend whose last name is Darlene. I like that last name. <laughs> All right. Dancing with the stars. Oh, thank you for our beautiful dancing. Yes. <laughs> going to be famous. <laughs> At Derek Hawley. <Hodden. laughs> All right, so uh, number eight, what human food does Kevin like in Up? What human food does he like? Time starts now. Like, this is like the, uh, also like the boat, not boat that, and sturm string dance. I can just imagine them with all their canes, like, <laughs> and even flipping all over I was the just place. watching uh, Diablo Fire the other day. Um, 
All right, so we got pizza, hamburgers, and chocolate. Uh, chocolate is the correct answer. Good job. You're on a roll tonight, just like Lupin. <laughs> All right, number nine. Where does Edgar try to send Duchess and the kittens at the end of the Aristocats? Time starts now. This is actually a question in a trivia I did one time and like nobody on my team knew it because none of them had seen this movie and I was in the bathroom and I like heard it from the bathroom and so I rushed out because I mean you had like five minutes to yeah. answer so like I was like I gotta get back out there and so, like, <laughs> hurry up and run back out I'm like I know the answer <laughs> <laughs> this is in the Disney trivia we played the other week too right? possibly we play lots of Disney trivia. Yeah. All right. All righty. And it looks like away the pool. I'd want to be sent to the pool. And, and your uh, cat, though. Yeah, I guess. And Timbuktu. And the correct answer is Timbuktu. Oh, the human food. It was uh, chocolate. That was uh, the answer to number eight. Yeah. It, chocolate. Kevin's favorite food. Question 10. What song does Mig Miguel, is it Miguel? Mig Miguel. Miguel play in the talent show in the land of the dead? Miguel. Yeah. That's a good movie. Time starts now. That is time. All right. We got the beat, Remember Me, and Poco Loco. Okay, so spelling doesn't count. The answer is Un Poco Loco. So yes. Poco Loco. <laughs> he like, was going to do Remember Me, and then his grandfather, Hector, Hector, thank you, was like, uh, no, everybody's doing that one because it's so popular. So popular, yeah. I'm trying to remember names. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that movie Pretty quite a few times. I watched it with uh, Grams and Pap Up. It's a cute movie. Yeah, they liked it. All right, question 11. Uh, oh, wait, no, this is for you. You okay. read question 11. What are the names of Hades' two demon minions? Time starts now. They just did the casting for the live action version. And I have like two comedians I really want to see play these two characters, but it's not that. But the other comedian that was cast for a different part was the one that everybody wanted. Oh, you've seen uh, Coco once in English and once in Spanish. Did you understand the Spanish one very well? Oh, that's time. Evil and Mr. I like those. Thing one and thing two. <laughs> but the correct answer is Panic and Pain. So good job. I kind of forgot to give the team name for this movie yet. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> um, I'm not even sure. I forget. <laughs> I forget. You names. were talking about comedians. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forget names though. You'll have to look it up and let us know next time. Cliffhanger. <laughs> Wait, how do you remember the comedian's names? <laughs> Will she remember to look it up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Question 12. What type of creature is Hank in Finding Dory? Time starts now. Now, I know John Mulaney was one that I wanted to be cast as Pain or Panic. I forget what the tall skinny one is. But the... It's, what's Pain? Panic is the call. Okay, so I wanted John Mulaney to be cast as Panic. I forget. Oh, I don't remember Panic. But everybody wanted a certain. I think it is. What question? We're on 12. So um, the Seder, whose name I believe is Phil. Yeah. <laughs> From. 
<laughs> That's how I remember. <laughs> from, um, Hercules. Gosh, just like brain dead is was cast as a what one of a great comedian whose name I do not know. <laughs> Gracie is anyway. sending us lots of names here. Um, the answer to uh, number 12 is octopus. So it looks like uh, I kind of forgot to come up with the team name. So this will be it. Got close with squid. Um, but it is not a shark. Oh, I know nothing. Got You got it right. I'm sorry. I didn't see your answer there. It is an octopus. Yes. Good job. Hank the octopus. He's a seven-armed octopus. Mm-hmm. Because he was rescued. Awesome rescue people. What sport does Chicken Little take up in an attempt to make his dad proud of him? Time starts now. No, you don't get a point for squid because yeah. there was there was a squid in the movie also. So what? I think so. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. No, but octopus and squid is different. I read this story about an octopus who memorized the security guard's schedule so he could sneak out and steal fish. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Octopuses are super smart. <laughs> <laughs> so the correct answer to this one is baseball. So it looks like everybody who answered in chat got their points. Good job. Because, like, fish would keep disappearing and they didn't know how. But the, the Was it, like, feed fish or was it, like, fish in the tanks? I think it was feed fish. Okay, I was going to say, holy smokes, it's one of the <laughs> No, it was, it was his food. And he memorized his the security guard of his section. Like, he memorized when he walked, like, in which direction. So when he was, like, on the other side of the room, the octopus would sneak out and sneak into the food room and then get back by the time the security <laughs> guard walked back the other direction. <laughs> they couldn't good. figure out how <laughs> the food was disappearing. That's great. Oh my goodness, that's really smart. I know, they're so smart. All right, question 14. Um, what object are Ian and Barley Lightfoot looking for on their quest? Oh, you did. I can't see this one. Oh, you put it on there. I figured it's been out for a little while now. Yeah. So. I heard that there were a few octopus stories. That was one that like, really stuck out. Oh, another one was one learn how to pose. So they this um, photographer would come in like once a week to take pictures of all the animals and her favorite um, animal to photograph with the octopuses. And so it also learned her schedule and would like pose for her, like learned how to pose and like cool ways That's for her pictures. Neat. I wonder how it knew what she was doing. Unless she just rewarded it when it did something. I don't think because it was like she, uh, she didn't okay. work there. <laughs> so okay, so yeah, soul stone, a heavy foot. I like that one. Nice job. Um, a bone. Or a bone. bone. <laughs> uh, soul stone, resurrection stone. All good guesses there. Um, the answer is a phoenix gem. All right. Last of our regular questions. What is the name of the hamster that accompanies Bolt and Miss Mittens on their trip back to Hollywood? Time starts now. Oh. You say Mittens. Well, I do too. Mittens. With, with the Michigan accent. Mittens. Yeah, well, you don't actually pronounce the T's. Yeah, Mittens. Yeah. Mittens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember learning that like freshman year about that people in Michigan do that and yeah. then like intro the linguistics. I'm like, what? And I like said it. I'm like, oh my goodness, we don't say T. No. <laughs> <laughs> no T's in that word. <laughs> All, right. All right. It looks like hamster, buddy, and rhino. Um, the correct answer is rhino. Good job. Okay, so next we're going to do our name four. I'll read this one so that way you can do the final question. 
Okay, so this is kind of a long one. Uh, so you want to do two minutes since it's kind of like really long? Sure. Okay, so we'll do two minutes. All right, so the way that this one works is uh, for this particular question, I'm going to give you four different songs and you have to identify the Disney villain who sings them or Disney villain or villains who sing them or who it's being sung about. So uh, each correct answer means you get two points. Um, the oh. answer for the last one is Rhino. Rhino, yeah. Hamster name, Rhino. <laughs> uh, so for each correct answer, you get two points. Um, and you can get up to eight points total. So. All right, so question 15, the answer is Rhino. So here's our name four. I had to hold this so everyone can see. Um, name the Disney villain or villains who sing each song or who it's or is being sung about in the song. They come in ones and twosles, but if they sow choosels before your eyes, you'll see them multiply. Number two. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. I'm trying really hard not to actually sing them here. Number three. Oh, and here they come. Come, come to the brightest thing that glitters. Mmm, fish dinners. And number four. The future is littered with prizes. And though I'm the main addressee, the point that I must emphasize is you won't get a sniff without me. So we need the person who is being either sung about or who is singing the song. They're all Disney villains. Time starts now. Yeah, I know it's really hard to avoid singing some of like, them. Like even just hearing the lyrics now, I'm like. Uh. <laughs> Good song. I like this one. What's this one called? Assassin. Ooh. Exciting. It's villain. Oh, smart. <laughs> All right, about forty seconds left. That is time. All right. Good job. I kind of forgot to come up with a uh, with name, <laughs> so this will be it. Uh, you got most of them, right? So the answer to number one is Heffalumps and Woozles, and that's from The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Then second one is Ursula. She sings that from The Little Mermaid. Then uh, three is Tamatoa from Moana. And four is Scar from The Lion King. All right. I'm surprised more people think it's Scar. I know. I, <laughs> I, 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 I was like, man, this is going to be kind of an easy one. And I really had to keep from singing that one. Yes. That one and Heffalumps and Woozles. Yeah. That I must emphasize it. You won't get a sniff without me. <laughs> now I can sing. Abby's been like waiting to say yes. that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move into the final question. Oh, uh, while I explain, if anyone has any challenges, feel free to send those into the chat. Uh, the way the final question works is uh, with your team name, 
send, <laughs> send in uh, your uh, total score as well as a wager of up to 10 points. You can wager 10 points even if you don't have it. You'll just go negative. So it'll be taken away if uh, you get the answer wrong or added if you get it right. And it looks like everyone here, since they've played before, has already <laughs> gone ahead and started sending them in. All right. So 17, wager 10. Mm. We'll be prepared for what? The death of King. Why? Is he sick? <laughs> yeah, so cool. we're going to kill him. Oh, great idea. He's king. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got I'm all our way interacting with Gracie. Hey, <laughs> uh, no king, no king, la 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 la. <laughs> Over YouTube, like, stay yeah. along. She does the text parts yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> okay. All right, so final question. Make sure to send in your team name with your answer, and your first answer is your final answer. All right, in 30 seconds, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> What enchanted food does the witch give Merida that transforms Eleanor into a bear? Time starts now. You used the wrong villain phrase. It's actually idiots, <laughs> <laughs> not fools. Fools is Maleficence and Ursula, I think, calls fools. I don't know. Get out! There won't be a king. Wait, what you say? Hamster named Rhino and a porcupine named Fluffy. Yes. And a rhino named Hippo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, that is time. All right, so we got, we're still waiting to hear from I Know Nothing. And that's with your answer. <laughs> the witch gave her answer named Rhino and a porcupine named Fluffy. <laughs> like, here, <laughs> your mother eats. <laughs> oh pizza okay there we go all right i like just watch brave so i'm like seeing my family's answers i'm like we just watched this and i'm like wait no i just watched this <laughs> all right you want to reveal the final answer yes the correct answer is cake gives Pizza. her cake, an enchanted cake all right, so it looks like uh, I know nothing, and I forgot to come up with something, so this will be it, uh, with a team name, uh, so this will be it. Uh, you guys both tied with seven, and then I can't decide between those two scientific names. Uh, <laughs> you came in second with three points. Good job. So good job. You like cupcakes more. I like cupcakes a lot, too. They're like individual cakes. Yes. Um, Okay, so we will be having Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince this Wednesday. And then next, uh, I can't say your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rest the core of There you go. Uh, so uh, this Wednesday will be Harry Potter and, oh, say your real name, Jess Bug. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Jess Bug, you came in second place. Um <laughs> So uh, this Wednesday, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince at 4 o'clock. Next Saturday at 7, we will be having a mix-up uh, trivia of Parks and Rec and The Office. <laughs> you have failed me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have failed me for the last time. Next time, make your team name with, like, underscores or dashers or something where the spaces are, we'll and try. we will at least attempt to say it. But I, I can't. Yeah, we will try to say After it at least that, once. I will be calling it Rack Support of <laughs> you can say that. I can't even say that. Um, all right. So make sure to subscribe to the library's YouTube channel. Play the summer game and get our summer game code. Um, <laughs> I know no spaces makes it harder. It makes it too hard. <laughs> all right. Um, like our video and check out some of the other events that the library has going on on our channel. Bye, everyone. Bye.